morning. It is a Monday morning and we are back round to the walk with me vlog. Now, I've spent a bit of time over the weekend making some plans, putting some things in place so that I can generally kind of work a bit more efficiently. So what I'm going to do, or at least what I'm going to try this week, is combining the walk with me in the mornings with my commute to work so that I'm not getting up, trying to fit in a walk, trying to do everything else and then heading out to work. It also offers me a few more benefits of, you know, I mean I know there's plenty of reasons why I need to start walking to work, it's, it gets me moving a bit more, it reduces the amount of time I'm spending on the bus, which is going to be healthier, I get a lot more fresh air, um, it might help me shed a few pounds. And it's going to help me save a few more pennies that I can put towards a new treadmill, so that's a bonus. So I'm going to try and combine the two. So hopefully the Walk With Me vlogs might just get a little bit more interesting, but not too long. So I'd like to try and keep them a little bit short. So yeah, come and join me and walk with me for the next... Well, I'll be walking for the next 40 minutes and you'll see little snippets of my journey. So, it doesn't necessarily look like, but I have actually got my head torch on today. Um, it's not as bright as I want to remember it. I'm sure I've got another one. Um, it could just be because there's a few lights on. But I definitely had one I took with me to Scotland. I think it was this one. Um, and it was bright enough that I could see across the whole, well, lock that we were staying near. Um, and no, it's not the batteries. I replaced them the other day. So I don't know. We'll see. See if there's anything for Mr. Foxy today. Ooh, nice and light. So one of the biggest challenges for adjusting the walk with me into the walk to work is clothing because it's not just five ten minutes so I know I'm gonna warm up so actually I've gone for a hoodie and I'm already really really warm and I've still got about maybe five minutes to go half an hour so may need to reevaluate see where we go Ooh. posh place So this is a woodland path I can take on road to work where I can test out my light. Now I'm not completely daft because there are some houses nearby. Um, so I'm going to chance it and uh, hope there's no werewolves about. A bit too early for vampires, potentially zombies, you never know. Actually. On that note, I did have a comment from, I think it was from the lovely Mark, um, who said that generally he tries to stray his thoughts away from like murderers and zombies. And that's the first place my head goes. And I think it's purely because of the amount of horror films I've watched growing up. Um, so yeah, that's where I go. I'm never stupid with it though. I never go anywhere I don't know. Like, I know this path, I've walked it several times. Um, and I know there's houses nearby if something should go wrong. But, um, yeah, I've never taken a known path. But I think that's where my head goes to from the horror films. It kind of keeps me on my toes, so to speak. Might even see some wildlife, you never know. So this leads to a local park, well not local for me, local for people up this side of town. Um, really nice in summer, great place to come and walk dogs, so I might see a dog walker. Summer mornings, like early summer mornings, walking through here. Feel the rain coming down the trees. Early summer mornings is great because you can hear all the birds. They sound amazing. You often find like loads of fun plants and things. The only downside is, oh, there is actually a path. For a little bit of it, there isn't a path, so it kind of ends up a bit soggy on your feet. Um, show me my work shoes, which are actually 
classed as running trainers online. They're not running trainers. I wouldn't dare try running these things. Um, they're handy for work. I can lace them up. I've not got to slip off my feet. They're safe. And I can keep up a good level of speed, which is what I need to do during the day. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll head straight. Uh, still alive. Could take a shortcut through there. Oh, that's handy. Remember that for next time. Birds in the morning. Right, let's go and enjoy the rest of this path. So, <laughs> one thing I didn't accommodate for was wildlife. There were just two eyes over there, which have now gone. But I don't know what they were. Well, that's the walk done. Um, I survived the wildlife. Now, ducks. Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Walk With Me vlog. So this week I'm going to take a, well not this week, today I'm going to take a slightly different path. And this might be where I really test my um, clothing choices because it might rain. So I have got an umbrella, but I've still not done a coat because otherwise I'll get too warm. So put a coffee on route and I'm going to take you for a walk. squirrel but I can't see it there is a squirrel somewhere up there there I don't know if I caught him on camera though my little trailer ducks so my walk takes me past the river, where I see the beasts, community beasts, not my beasts, my beasts are at work, probably in bed, and it's quite nice because actually it's really quiet, um, big massive play park, big massive field, and then I'm going to cut up via one of the supermarkets so I can go past a little tiny bike shop where they had a really nice bike outside, which I'm tempted to get, because the one, oh, big beast one, because the one I've got is actually working out more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, I think there is a signet. Signet? Over here. Baby swan. Either that or just a really crappy swan. Zoom in. Baby swan. Which might mean there are small swans around there. Or are you a goose? Bird people. I need you to tell me. Baby swap. Maybe baby swan. Baby swan's coming for me. Run. Uh, <laughs> that's either a really fat pigeon, which in my experience it normally is across here, or a squirrel. But we're going for fat pigeon. Baby swans, all the others I think have moved on. Oh, squirrel! I don't know if you can see it. He's up there. Two squirrel. Two squirrel. So, yeah. So, I'm going to detour of the bridge. Head to work, pass the shop, and I'll show you a bit more of the route. Alright! That is a rat. No, come out, I need to make friends with you. Welcome to Wednesday. So I'm not going to do a walk with me this morning because I'm going to do a run tonight so I'm going to take you with me on that instead. So that's two or three sets done. I've now got a 
uh, two minute walk and then plus it. 10 minute walk home. Light's not great because it's dark. But I've got my torch on, so uh, yeah. Nearly done. So that's the workout done. I'm now on the cool down, so I'm gonna head home, get ready for tea, showered, ready for tomorrow morning. Good morning, it's Thursday and I'm on my way into work. So I've got my coffee, I'm doing all cup town, and I'm gonna go and enjoy a bit of an early morning stroll. That's a nice short walk up to the middle of town. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see the ducks, see if I can see them. It's quite dark still. So. And uh, go say good morning to the beasties. Ducks in the dark. Can't see them, but you can hear them. So we've made it round to Friday. I'm heading up to work. I'm gonna be jumping on the bus today, so I'm gonna go to be doing a short work walk rather than a long walk as it's going to be a long day for me so I'm on a long shift and uh, yes yeah, so I'm going to try and save some energy because I won't be finishing until six o'clock tonight so it's going to take a short walk to the bus stop and then to work. <laughs> 